All right, welcome everybody to the Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network uh, webinar for August 2018. And I am Katrina Sawa, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I'm also the organizer of this group. And we do in-person luncheons in Sacramento. That's why we're called Sacramento. Um, and just recently, I started adding webinars so that I can bring people in from all over the country, and you don't just have to be in Sacramento. Although, at some point, maybe I should change the name. We'll see. <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, it is one of the largest meetup groups in the area, and so it's exciting, although I wish we would have, you know, hundreds of people here we don't because speakers are busy and so if they're busy speakers and entrepreneurs then hopefully they're just listening to the recording so I make it really easy for you to listen to the recordings of these I have a whole web page that you can go to and listen to all of the previous webinars I don't have a way to record currently the luncheons so uh, the people that are on the webinars uh, will get lots more access uh, than the in-person luncheons because you got to be there to sh and show up to play. So if you are um, in a noisy place or you're typing, if you could mute yourself, that would be great because I'm not sure who it is. And then make sure you unmute yourself when you are um, going to talk and introduce yourself. That would be great. So it's either Marsha or maybe it's Carrie. I don't know. It's one of you guys. Is okay. Not me. No. Okay. I'm okay. It's all right. It's all good. So that way we keep a good recording. So I have the agenda up. Um, it's on the web page, and you can look at it and follow along as we go if you want to. Um, and Terry, if during your presentation, if you want to screen share, you're welcome to screen share. You don't have to. You can just talk at us. You can also post a link uh, to anything downloadable or whatever or a web page in the chat room, and I will make sure all of that chat room does get copied over and saved, and then it's put next to the recording in the page that I send you guys to. So it'll always be there. Um, so this group, in case you haven't been to a webinar, I think I see a couple new people possibly. So um, we're all about helping entrepreneurs and speakers make a lot more money, get more booked, um, anything you can do to grow your speaking and uh, speaking in a regular business in general. And so that's that's what I do in my business. And um, so I'm a coach, I'm a speaker, I'm an author, you sell my books back here. And I've um, been in business for 16 years and I love, love, love helping people make more money doing what they love. So it's a lot of different things. It's systems, it's marketing, it's your website, it's getting started speaking or writing a book and all kinds of different things in between. And uh, so that's kind of what I do. And my website, again, is jumpstartyourmarketing.com. So you can look there if you want more information. <clears throat> as far as the speaker network goes, a uh, couple quick announcements, and then we will let you all do in your own introductions here. Uh, hi, Rhonda. Hi, Michelle. Um, the, you can, I am starting to take applications to speak for 2019 for the group. And so I have two speaking spots at the luncheon and one during the webinar, just so you know. So they're not long or anything, but they're a great place to get at least part of your message heard and um, get in front of people and or practice if you're a newer speaker. So don't shy off if you're a newer speaker. If you've never spoken before, this is one of the best groups to start in front of because we will give you lots of love and support and feedback on how to improve and things you can do. So don't be shy. Um, and I give you lots of training. So if you go to the page um, sacspeaker.com where you can sign up to speak, I'm gonna pull it up in a second here. Oh, I forgot to have that ready. So if you go to sacspeaker.com, I'll show you really quick. It's just a page on my website. This is actually my website, but it's, it looks like a SAC, SAC speaker page, okay? And this is where you'd sign up to speak. Although pay attention because there's a free speaker audio here. So if you're not really sure on what to do to write your bio or how to develop a talk description. You want to listen to this uh, audio first, okay? So this will take you to a free audio. This will actually take you to our Meetup page. So if you're new to Meetup, you can go here. 
So you can just remember SAC speaker and then you can fill out this form and then it'll take you to another form where you'll have to fill in um, the talk description and the bio information and things like that. So now this is where I need more information from you. And the dates on here are wrong. We've got to go update them for 2019. So we are kind of booked for this year. Um, but um, so you can check off some of these dates. It really doesn't matter. And I will get in touch with you. So that's just an FYI. I'm taking signups now for 2019. And a lot of people are actually booking for 2019. I know I am uh, looking for speaking gigs in 2019 myself. So it's something to keep on your radar. If you're looking for speaking gigs, you want to start looking ahead. Um, the other thing is we use a hashtag jumpstart, uh, hashtag sack speaker, hashtag sack speaker if you're on social media. And um, I also will share out your member announcements. So in the email, I just want to remind you of this call. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, I have two little blurbs about um, upcoming events. One is my own. But I also have one for another member, and if you give me little blurbs of your events, I will, and it's that about that big with a link. Uh, don't give me a whole page full of stuff. Give me a blurb. I will actually put it in an upcoming email to member announcement. So um, don't forget about that because it's a huge opportunity and it's all free. Okay. So now I want to give you guys that are here an opportunity to introduce yourself, and then we'll introduce Terry, and she'll take it away. Uh, so if you guys can keep it to about 30 seconds, that would be amazing. Um, and we'll end with you, Terry. So uh, let's see. Chuck, I was going to say, you want to go first? Let's, um, got it unmuted. Okay. I'm unmuted. Okay. Chuck will go first, and then we'll go around the room the way I see it. Rhonda, Carrie, Marsha, Michelle. Okay. Go. Okay, Chuck Hooper, uh, business intelligence consulting, Tableau software trainer. I have three books out, two more coming. Oh, God. And do speaking, professional and public, and speaker coaching. And have three meetings in Boston on Thursday that may completely change what I do and when I do it. Awesome. Okay, and make sure, um, I forgot to say, put a little, like, you can put your URL, you can put whatever else you want in the chat in the chat room too. Now's the time to put what you do and what website to catch you on. And then towards the end of the call is when you want to say like, hey, in case you want a free thing, this is where you want the free thing. That's just an FYI. All right. Um, Carrie, I'm going to go to you. Then Rhonda, if you want to unmute after that. Carrie, since you're unmuted, go ahead. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Carrie Perky Pile, and I specialize in earning more money for nonprofit organizations through direct mail. So you all have received those letters in the mail that call upon your sensibilities to give to people in need. I'm the one who specializes in telling those stories and earning the money to keep those organizations doing what they do. Awesome. Wow, I don't have any speaking again. Wow. All right, Rhonda. Hi, everyone. Hey, if you, um, again, I'm sorry, my husband just got home. If you know, my dog, dog would go a little bit crazy. Um, I was, my first place I speak was with you, Katrina, and it's a very loving space. And I, I feel that um, you're a very special person. So yes, get out there 2019 and sign up because you need to get out there. Hey, my name is Rhonda Liebig. I'm, um, I started a business this year that's just doing so well and I want to invite you in it's called fresh inspiration professional talks and book signings so if you are a speaker and you have a book or you're working on a book I have a October and November spot to be speaking locally and then also February 2019 if you have a book in your hand or you're working on one please contact me I build the stage with a couple speakers that night and you get to do a book signing. So I think once you get your book out there, it's nice to get out there and do a book signing. So if you want to know more about that. Also at the ranch here, I do workshops and have a workshop happening September 14th. And I want to give one person tonight a spot to have a free invite, VIP invite, September 14th. Did I say 19th first? September 14th. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's nice meeting everybody. Uh, awesome. Thanks, Rhonda. I don't want this. Yes. Hi. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? 
We can hear you. We can't see you, but we can hear you. Oh, I guess that's a thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm just starting out basically. I'm not a speaker yet, but I definitely want to get into it because I find it's very interesting that you can share your own uh, self with the, everybody. And, you know, it, it opens up a lot of opportunities for other people. You hear me? Awesome. And then what would be your topic when you do decide to speak? Do I don't, right now, I don't have one yet, but I will think about it. All right, do you have a job then? Pardon me? Do you have a job then right now, or are you trying to start a business, or? Um, in between, right now, no. I'm actually retired at this point now, so, uh, you know, I'm just getting into different things. Okay, great. Well, hopefully you get some ideas here. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. you, it's Katrina, you're, you're, you're amazing. Oh, thank you. <coughs> well, if you're local, make sure you come to the meeting, the, uh, the luncheon, because there's lots of resources flying for ideas for business models and stuff, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, Michelle. Sorry, there we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Michelle Mariscal, and I have to concur and encourage you all um, to sign up to be a speaker. I was able to do that for the first time recently, and it is a very um, supportive and nurturing uh, speakers association and so I really appreciated all the comments and everything I got so I'm a speaker author and uh, I'm currently moving all of my efforts into workshops retreats and coaching for people moving through the grief and loss journey mm -hmm. so, she has a fun new event called good grief good grief retreat I love that name. It's, I mean, I mean for a, that kind of a topic, good grief, which is hopefully Charlie down, Brown, the penis doesn't come after you, but. <laughs> There's a lot of people using that term. Yeah, that's true. Awesome. Okay, Gary. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, I work with uh, individuals to help them develop their stage presence and the presenta presentation skills with the goal of really wrapping up and presenting a powerful call to action. They know what that one step is they want their audience to take and they deliver it very powerfully. And awesome. with, yeah, thank you. Okay, and then Beth, you're on the phone. I'm on the phone because I'm driving. Um, so are you stressed out and anxious? I'm Beth Lenderham. I'm the creator of the Four Minute Flow. It's my signature process to help you live life in balance. That's awesome. I love the name. What, what's your website again? Remind me, I'm putting it on here. Um, it's Wave Energy Healing. Thank you. Okay. The Four Minute Flow. She has a really cool process. So uh, I know she spoke, what, about a year and a half ago, maybe, maybe two years. Yeah, it's probably time for me to speak again. I've it changed a lot. I've, I've grown, I've evolved a lot. Awesome. Good for you. Okay, did I get everybody except for Terry? Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to introduce my friend Terry. And for some silly reason, I don't have your bio in front of me because I thought it was on the page. But I want to tell you, that, of course, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. it's in my inbox. Okay, so Terry, let me just tell you personally, I've been hanging around Terry for a few years now, and we meet each other at retreats and beaches and really fun conferences and stuff like that. And not only is she a super cool person and friend, she is giving, giving, giving. She knows her stuff. I mean, I don't know how much education you have, Terry, but this woman knows her stuff about transformation, spirituality, leadership. I mean, all rolled into this little I've got goosebumps package. So it's, um, I wish I had more time to give you, you know, so do your best to share what you can. If you want to throw in a little bit of, uh, you know, background, feel free. Um, but take the way with the, with the intuitive leadership thing tonight. I want you, I want you to just have as much time as you can. 
Well, I thank you, Catherine, for allowing me the opportunity to work with all of you today or speak with all of you today. I am Terry Wildeman. My business name is Intuitive Leadership, and I work with mission-driven entrepreneurs to assist them to integrate the practical and logical with the emotional, the intuitive, and the spiritual. We get very deeply into communications, leadership, resilience, as well as understanding oneself. Because to be an entrepreneur, you truly need, and I'm going to say need, I don't like to use that word, but I'm going to say need to connect the brain and the head with the brain and the heart. Because when we operate from just a logical brain, we are losing out on a lot of gifts that we have that were given to us at birth. So it's truly, truly critical that we integrate all sides of ourselves so that we present ourselves with a competent, competent, credible, and coherent platform whenever we engage with our audience, engage with a customer, engage with our employees. So does that sound good to you for me to address a little bit of that? Okay. So today's talk is about capsizing. <laughs> And trust me, I have capsized big time. I capsized at least seven times. And when I capsize, I'm talking about burnout. And I mean burnout. And the burnout that I experienced, the very last one that was so really, really big, took me almost six months to recover from. And the biggest reason that I burned out as badly as I did was because of a lack of one very, very powerful concept. And that concept is boundaries. I'm all about serving. I'm all about giving. Leadership is critically important to me. Um, I'm a former police officer. I own my own manufacturing company. I married the military at the age of 31. All right. So all of these places that I've been to are all about leadership. And from a leadership platform, you really need to want to serve in order you know, to really be in all of those places. So service is the foundation of who I am, what I do, and how I develop my programs and work with my clients. So basically what happened is when I burned out so badly, what happened? I lost my business. My kids saw me curled up on the couch. I was feeling really horrific. My health plummeted. And as teachers, and each and every one of you, if you're a speaker, you are a teacher. And as teacher, it's about teaching what it is that you need to learn in this lifetime. And all of us who speak, especially those of us who are heart-centered and speak from the heart, know that what we teach is what we need to learn. For myself, I ended up having to learn how to really become stress resilient so I could do the rest of what it is that I need to teach. So in 2001, I became a licensed heart math uh, coach, and I also became a Reiki master. I'm an EFT practitioner, NLP. I'm also a channel. I get downloaded lots of stuff. And as grounded, as practical as I am, tomorrow I come out of the spiritual closet with my new show, Your Seven Cents, where I talk about integrating all of these pieces within the workplace and in business. So what did I do when I studied heart math? Heart math is about connecting with the heart. It's about learning how to shift from up here into the heart because the heart organ and this is what helped me upright the heart organ is the most powerful organ in the body and the most powerful pump in the world this heart organ the electromagnetic field of the heart can be measured six to ten feet away from the body in a 360 degree circumference so when you are into when you are next to somebody and you are truly coherent they are feeling you. They are connecting with you. And even online, they can feel you. Okay? The electromagnetic field of the brain, now notice I'm saying the brain, not the mind. The brain is two inches. Two inches. So the heart, which is the first organ that appears in the body, okay? And think about this. When there's a heart transplant, you've all read about how often the, per uh, the person takes on the characteristics of the donor, right? So one person may have never drank before, and when they wake up, I have to have a beer. Okay, that's how powerful the heart is. So when we shift from here and we shift to here, we are working on all cylinders. We are connecting the brain and the head with the brain and the heart. And we put ourselves in a situation where we step out of the practical and logical, shift into 
the emotional and the energetic and connect with the practical and logical. Thus, we are working on all cylinders. And that key, that one thing, is what helped me upright after capsizing so many years ago. Now, fairly recently, I had another capsizing moment. And that capsizing moment was when I needed to surrender. I needed to learn how to get out of my own way. And it had to do with developing the show that I'm launching tomorrow. Because frankly, I was absolutely petrified. And I mean abjectly petrified about launching the show called Your Seven Cents. Business powered by angels and intuition. And once I released and surrendered, guess what? The back pain disappeared, the migraines disappeared, all the physical stuff disappeared because I'm doing what I am meant to do. This is my seventh book, The Enchanted Boardroom. And in The Enchanted Boardroom, I have a chapter called Business and Angels. Guess what? Writing that chapter, I was on my knees. I was so darn scared. And I burned out writing that chapter. I literally just lost it because I was in fear. And fear is about forgetting everything is all right. And if we drop the F, it leaves everything is all right. And when we use our ears to really hear, and then when we hear, we listen to the messages that are being constantly delivered to us. It helps us live the life that we are meant to be living because we're coming out of the fear closet. We're coming out of the spiritual closet. We're coming out of the I don't want to communicate with people closet. We're coming out of whatever closet that you need to step out of. And when you step out of those closets that we put ourselves into, because we're concerned about what other people think about us, we're concerned about what other people are going to say, we're concerned about everybody else, we then step out in a more confident, confident, credible way. And we come across as being incredibly congruent. So when we're congruent with all sides of ourselves, we allow the magic that is within, the gifts that we have to emerge. And it helps us with become more stress resilient. It helps us to communicate in ways that we've never communicated before. It helps us to ask the open-ended questions. It helps us to listen. And it helps, helps us to be who we are truly meant to be in both business and in life. So that's my capsizing story and uprighting and how it is that I did it. So I would love to answer any questions that you have because I only have 10 minutes. Like Catherine said, I could talk about this for hours, but I just sort of chunked it down <laughs> as much as I possibly could. Yes. Um, well, there's probably questions and I know Michelle is very familiar with heart math. She does that too. And, um, and Tanya over here does EFT and tapping just so you know. So there's, and there's a good group of people in here that I think really get what you're talking about, Terry. So um, any other contributions or insights, maybe, if you don't have a question, anybody have a uh, contribution to the conversation, so to speak? Terry, I love the way that you are using your FAIR acronym. It was so smooth and easy, and I work so hard every day to be in that heart center consistently as I'm creating and doing stuff, but I never heard of your expertise, but it just seems so natural to hear the, what you're talking about. And I can feel the quality of work that you do because you say it so clearly. And it just, it just really lifted me into a, no, I mean, this is going to finish my night feeling really good. So thank you. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. I have to give acknowledgement to the FEAR acronym. Uh, forgetting everything is all, is all right is actually Abraham, uh, for Abraham Hicks. Abraham is the one who said fear is forgetting everything is all right. Other folks use the acronym uh, false evidence appearing real. But personally, I prefer the, the forgetting everything is all right because it's just a little bit easier to, to connect with. And Rhonda, I'd like to, um, if I may, you said that you work really hard to get into your heart. May I be bold and ask you to, instead of, instead of working really hard to get in there, that you allow. 
Just, that is an interesting word I used. Huh? Allow it to happen because yeah, I've had a couple of stressful days, and so I did yeah. use that word that I probably wouldn't normally use. So I appreciate that, Terry. Rhonda, yeah. you don't you don't struggle getting into your heart. I see you in your heart all the time. <laughs> I know, but Terry inspired me so much that I said I work hard because I know she's at a different level. Like her level is deep. Yeah, yeah I, I go deep and I go wide. However, I have a lot of, it's been decades that I've been doing this, you know, and I mean decades. Um, and all of us have had intuitive gifts since we were born and they were squashed out of us because of the environment that we were in. Either, you know, imagine being a little kid and you're seeing the angels or you're seeing, you know, you've got your imaginary friend that's very real to you, but it gets squashed. That's the beginning of stopping our energy flow. And it happens to so many of us. And it takes something like what I'm talking about, maybe even today, to say, okay, I'm done. I'm done hiding. I'm ready to, to use all my gifts. Yeah. Well, and so Terry is a part of the Evolutionary Business Council that I'm a part of. Mm -hmm. And I'm seriously, there's a lot of you that might really be a good fit for that. And I know I've absolutely few of you about it before I just mentioned it too on uh, Facebook live this morning as a resource um, but it's a really good group of people that we hit that's why mm -hmm. we get to see each other a couple times a year is because there's yeah, live the next one that I'm going to is in January um, that's when I'm going to yeah I'm not going to the yeah. September anyways that's so if somebody wants a group of really cool I mean a, you sit in a room sometimes next to, I mean, I sat in a, a beach retreat next to this guy who I had no idea. He was just funny. We were laughing and found out he knows Deepak Chopra and he does these huge spiritual retreats in Machu Picchu or whatever the hell he does. I don't even know. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Um, the bald guy. What's his name? Bald guy. Bald the guy. bald guy. Not Chuck. <laughs> In the EBC? Yeah. Satyan? 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 No, 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 no. He's a, an easier name. Anyways, the point is, I was like, you never know who you're going to sit next to. So. No, you don't. You really don't. And, and they have, um, they're remarkable people. They are global leaders. They are thought yeah. leaders. And it's a brilliant organization to be a part of because you just really meet some very cool people. So tell us what's on your website. And what about your show? Is it a radio, podcast? Is it video? <laughs> It's actually both. Uh, I got to tell you, it, it has come together in a matter of four weeks. We are <laughs> jumping to get this out. And, and it's to, specifically for tomorrow's date, which is 8-8-2018. Uh, uh -huh. It was important to get, to get it out for tomorrow. And it's called your com. It's not perfect. And I didn't care that it wasn't perfect. Yeah. You know, because if you wait until something is perfect, then it never happens. Yeah. Um, my... Uh, intuitive leadership website is www.intuitiveleadership.com yeah and we do vip days and retreats and masterminds and all kinds of fun stuff oh my free gift uh if you go to www.quickshiftzone.com you can download a four-step process that helps you shift from here to here. And it is in my book, The Enchanted Boardroom. In here, we talk about communication, we talk about resilience, we talk about um, uh, big time resilience, magnetic business attraction. And there's all kinds of, uh, it, it's almost created, not almost, it is written as a workbook. So you can use a lot of the information that is in there on a daily basis and you can use it for your clients also. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. Well, we'll definitely share that. Any other questions for Terry? And of course, she's not going anywhere. So, not going anywhere. I know. Anybody? Or anybody have any thoughts on maybe we could do, well, we need to do a hot seat. So, I want to know like if there's, raise your hand if I can see you, um, if you are interested in being on the hot seat, just so I have, so I know who I need to pick from. Uh, raise your hand. Nobody wants a hot seat. I have a question. Mar and what about Marsha and Tanya on the phone? Okay, yeah, somebody um, said they have a question. Yeah, thank you. I'd like to know your website again, please. Oh, yeah, w she's on the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, www.intuitive.com. 
leadership.com and the show name, which is going to be available on video and podcast is www.your seventh, the number seven with the TH sent S E N S E dot com. Okay, great. Wonderful. And I Mark, really, I really you enjoyed you talking. You know, I was very, very, it was very, you have a lot of great, uh, you know, very deep, you're a very deep person. She and is. It's wonderful. It's her. wonderful. <laughs> sometimes you walk into minute. I can't keep up with you sometimes. I can't. Uh, it was funny because we were talking about that this morning on my Facebook Live because we were talking about the, the mastering the magic between being and doing. And I was, of course, talking about the doing. And my friend Denise was talking about the being. And I was like, oh, I got to be again. But I can only be for like five minutes and then I got to go doing again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. You know, that, that's part of the process. I know. It's crazy. All right, good. So um, we do have plenty of time here. So I wanted to make sure we give a lot of you opportunities to share what's coming up because I know a lot of you are having live events or in their speaking gigs. Um, but I do want to do a five minutes in the hot seat. So Carrie, raise your hand. Tanya or Marsha, do you have any interests? That's where you say what kind of challenge that you're working on and we give you feedback. And Marsha, it would be great for you to raise your hand too because uh, maybe you could get some uh, insight on what to do next. <laughs> but you're muted. So you and Tanya are both muted. If you are interested, I need to know. Oh, they're going to stay quiet. I think Tanya might be working. Okay, so Carrie, did you, we do a hot seat on you before, like a couple months ago? We did. I can't hear you, honey. Okay. I'm here. And you. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, Katrina? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would like to get some insight. Okay. Definitely. That would be okay, great. Look, look what we're going to do. We have a little extra time. So we're going to do four minutes and four minutes. How's I'm that? not going to do this now. No, I'm not yeah. now, though. What do you mean, not now? No, I'm not. I'm mean, uh, you know, I'm talking, you're talking about the, never mind. It's okay. Yeah, we're talking about hot seats right now, sweetie. No, no, not now. No, yes. not, not now. What's better than now? You've got nine of Because it, this is too on. This is every, it's too loud. I it, just, you know what? You're so anonymous right now. It's the perfect time to be totally get some support. And we're all very, like most of us are really very experienced business owners. We can give you some really great tips and advice. I know, Marcia, that. this is a loving space. This is a great yeah. time to it just really sit there and, and allow people to help you. I, oh, I, I agree. agree with you. I agree with you. Okay. So how about just four minutes in the spotlight? No, you're not that pretty. <laughs> Here, listen to what Carrie does first, and then you can come second, okay? No, I'll let Carrie go. Go ahead. Okay, we have plenty of time for both of you. All right, so Carrie. Tell us what challenges you might be having or how we can support you. Um, and speak loudly well, if you can, because you're a little bit faint. Sorry, I've got a big noisy machine in the background. Okay. And you just froze. La, 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 Come back to us, Carrie. Hi, Terry. Um, come back to us. Oh my gosh, Carrie, whoa, whoa, okay, hmm, next, okay, so Marsha, Carrie's frozen, are you willing to come on? Who, me? Oh, Carrie. Marsha, Carrie was frozen, so we don't know what happened to her. Would you like to come? She's scared. Marsha's scared. Oh, she dropped off. Marsha, come on. It's okay. All right. How about you, Terry? We're there doing, um, we're doing five looking, minutes in the, in the mirror. Right? It's all good. We're doing five minutes in the hot seat, and uh, nobody else wants to be in the hot seat. So Put me in the hot seat. I don't care. I like the heat. I know you do. You love it. Okay. So tell them what you do real quick because you missed the introductions. I'm Terry Rose on your Love and Lifestyle Coach with Love, uh, Blissify Your Life. I help support the people moving through transitions of separation, divorce, empty nesting, starting over. Awesome. And what's a, a challenge or question that you might have that you're working on right now? Finding enough time to do it all. 
That's what we're going to be working on tomorrow. Is more I don't think anybody here has that problem, do we? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the thing is, I find I'm getting out and talking to people now and networking and going to networking events. And now everywhere I go, I'm coming back with 35 business cards and then boom. That's, and I got to develop a system to manage that. Because when you're out there generating contacts and sales, promotion, and you know, then doing your accounting and doing your social media. And it, it's, I'm starting to go, whoa, because the snowball is balling up. Okay. So first of all, stop doing your accounting and uh, I'll give you my follow-up system. <laughs> uh, but other than that, what other suggestions can you guys give to Terry? <laughs> yeah, Rhonda. <laughs> Terry, it sounds like you're transitioning into the next level. Um, so maybe an assistant, maybe that wouldn't have felt comfortable, but if you have really good leads that are, if you're coming home with 35 cards and you're doing your cash process level uh, system where you're following up, I bet you're converting differently than you were before. And what you'll find is your income may triple right away because when you start splitting your brain, I bet you already know this, but when you start splitting your brain, you're trying to do everything, it takes you away from your cash. So I, I, I mean, the way that you speak, it sounds like you are like on a back burner and you're ready to just fly. So if you can trust that in yourself about yourselves, I would jump in and do it. You're at a really fun place. Yeah, I'm actually in the startup and I'm flying because now as I talk about it, as soon as I talk, I'm getting approached with, hey, you can help my boyfriend. Hey, I'm going to court next week. What do you say, think I should do with this? And it's, that's the part I love. Um, and the conversions are starting to happen for sure. Hey. But I'm in the startup mode, so I don't have a whole lot of the income yet to do the investing that is required. And I, I was a financial controller in the corporate world, so accounting I can do in my sleep. That's, that's you know, a couple days a month. That's not a big deal for me. But it's just... Uh, can, I'm sorry, Terry, can I say one more thing? My background is CPA. I did over a decade and I did, I watched over millions of dollars. So I know, and my, my brain can do the accounting too, but I, just think about this. When you really split your brain, because you're in a very creative mode and you're out there speaking, it does something, even though you know it, it, it it'll just level you up. And from my heart to yours, this is what I had to release and start moving forward. I think you're there. Yeah, and I appreciate that because that's one of the challenges I'm having is I am so much in the logistical part of because my learning curve is so steep with the social media marketing planning side that I'm um I'm not getting to do the creative stuff that I want to and write content. I want to interrupt you only because five minutes in the spotlight means tell me your challenge and then listen, listen, listen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and. Uh, so Rhonda is totally right, and it might be time to delegate. Now there's people that might do trade with you, so think about it. So a couple times I do, every once in a while I do trade or I find a trade situation. Someone wants to come to a workshop and wants to give me a massage. or um, So figure out if you can find someone. I know in the place that I met you, uh, the gal that's doing my data entry right now, data entry for follow-up is the biggest sticking point. So you have to get someone to enter that data. And she's really good and she's quick and she's usually available within the week. So and if you plan ahead when you know you're going to have a stack of cards, then make sure you can get those to her and she can probably bust them out. And really for 30 to 50 bucks, you can get data entry done so that the emails can go and maybe even get the mail, direct mail out if you have a system for that when we develop that system for you. Uh, and then the phone, all you have to do is phone calls, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, it, but the follow-up, the fortune is in the follow-up, and that is no lie. Uh, most of my sales are made in the follow-up from live events. So I would highly recommend that the two days a month that you're doing bookkeeping is 16 hours of time that you can be doing follow-up for that whole month. So it's still not, it's not that much, but it's still way too much time to be doing bookkeeping. For you right now when you're not making the, the consistent revenue so just an FYI anybody yeah, else have any? that's good that's good yeah 
I mean, you don't need to do bookkeeping if you're not making a lot of money yet. So wait till the end of the year and just do it all at once or hire it out right. at that point when we make more money. <laughs> just because we can do it doesn't mean we should do it. Right. Just like Rhonda said. So any other comments for Terry? And I know Tanya wanted a little hot seat too. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> Hello. Anything else? Okay. I mean, it's, it's uh, managing your priorities. There's so many things and we'll have to take a look, but sometimes when I see people's calendars or I see people's organization of their file folders and their computer and things like that, when I, sometimes I see how you get, people get slowed down, not you necessarily, but that could be helpful is to have another set of eyeballs on how you're organizing your stuff in your day because you could spend an hour, two hours a day in chaos and not realize it when there's an easier way possible so there's that Thank cool you. okay give her a hand you guys <laughs> all right so Tanya um, we'll do another little four minutes in the hot seat and then I want to hear from all of you about what events you have going on and where we can find you or if you have a cool special coming up so uh, what's your what's your special or what's your challenge <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> My challenge is I have been doing some speaking and there's someone that triggers me in the audience every time. And last time I spoke, I like froze. I was able to get it back and it's someone I know and um, she's a very strong personality. I even teach her about it. So what hints do you guys have? You know, I know my speech, my talk inside and out. I know the beginning, the end really strong, but I froze and it's so mm -hmm. embarrassing. So I would love to hear any advice. That's very interesting. Anybody want to start? Um, I, I, I can. This yeah. is Ash. Hi, Ash. Hi. Uh, I, I think this is definitely something that can happen to many of us. My, my tactic would be whatever comment they would typically make, I will go ahead and make it myself. I would say something like, and Susie, I am sure you're wondering how the hell that can happen. And you know what? You're absolutely right. You basically can take the fear out of the goddamn person and you put it in your talk. That way she doesn't have that power anymore because you basically neutralized whatever point she brings up. That's just one, one idea. Great. Right, thank you. It's a negative thing? It's a negative thing? No. It, he's absolutely right because yeah. if you call her out by name one time, uh -huh. there will not be another interruption. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's, I appreciate that. Thank you. So you're telling me that someone you know has been to at least two of your talks and said the same thing to interrupt you or make you look bad and been not so nice. No, no. It's like when I see her there, because I know she's super critical, she's judgmental, and she's a strong personality. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, you know, I'm pretty confident, but her, I just go, Z -Z -Z, you know? Yeah, no. So... Yeah. Okay. And I, said, even, I even joked with her. I'm like, you are my trigger, you know, after. But I like how you guys are saying maybe I should just say it when I'm giving my talk. No. So check in that Terry, okay? You, you said you know your speech in, you know, front to back. You know it. Just give it. Don't worry about it. But up front, ask her to listen carefully to the whole speech and give you some constructive criticism when you're done. When okay. you're done. Okay. Emphasize that's it. That's good. That's and a good point mm -hmm. too. Goodbye to all. I got to run. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Kat. Good luck in Boston. Thank Terry. you. Bye, Chuck. Bye. Okay. What were you going to say, Chuck? Okay. I mean, Terry. Chuck and Terry. Oh, Terry. <laughs> Tanya, um, my first remark is, my first question to you is, why are you giving her this power? Exactly. Why are you giving your power away? Why are you allowing this individual to do this to you? Because actually, it's really all about you. It's not about her. It's oh, about absolutely. you. And you allowing her to take your power away. So what is, what is it about her that is triggering you that, uh, to go to this place of, uh, of wobble, all right, that takes you into this fear place? And, and what, I'm going to go woo-woo. Uh, it could be a past life. 
you know, it could be she reminds you of somebody in your past, her energy. Uh, she's so direct and strong that she triggers. It's not that she, it, it's her herself. It's her energy, the way she talks, the way she thinks, reminds you of somebody else from your past. All right. So those are things that came up for me when you were talking, because you are the one who's giving up your power to allow her to do that to you. I think for me, the biggest thing is, is I know her personally too, and she's very hypercritical on everyone. Okay. And, and she, I didn't expect her to be at my place that I Got speak it. at. And so my mind, I think I just saw her, great. She's going to criticize everything I do. And she has that look, you know? Yeah, yeah I get it. Like, okay. So, and yeah, I get it. It's me and I got to be strong. And, but I. Well, it's just, not about being strong. It's, it, it really isn't. It's about letting go of her judgment, her skepticism and her pessimism. That's what it's really all about. And you may want to say to her when she walks in, I am so thrilled you're here, just the right person to give me insight on what fantastic things I'm doing and what I could do better. So when you do that, you're taking your power back and saying, I know you look at things with a fine tooth comb. I know you look at things with a critical eye. Uh, I'm going to ask you to be kind. I'm going to ask you to be yourself when, when you're looking at me, but I also need to hear what I'm doing right. Mm -hmm. okay, so you are setting up how you want her to view your speech on your terms, not her terms. Right, right. No, you're right. I feel okay. you're right though because I... Um... I feel that way sometimes with a couple people and it's easier oh, yeah. said than done. I mean, I get it too. It's like, okay, that's easier said mm -hmm. than done what you all are saying there, but <laughs> how do I just put a big old like X on her face so I can't see it or something? <laughs> right. Like tell her right. to wear a bag on her head. <laughs> Rhonda. Yeah, I, I think everybody's <laughs> going to be able to speak to this. It As a speaker, you you do feel vulnerable, and um, people are saying to ask her, you know, this or that, and I, there's some awesome stuff. But what I what I think about when I go out and I speak and I see people that trigger me, because I, I know I get an insecurity space too, is when you go in, think about that your talk isn't about you. And I know, Tanya, that whatever your platform is and what you're doing, what's going to power you up is whenever you do a Facebook Live or you're in front of people, what's going to build your platform is you go in there and you release whatever it is that you feel like you're, you're this vessel and you are there to speak the expertise. There's a reason why you're running your business or you're going out there as a speaker. Just love on that because there's many strategies. Everybody said really good stuff because I would probably do every one of those strategies but once you get into that flow, it's not about me. I'm there and I and see those people that are there because they really need you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Can you, you know. do your own tapping on those things? That's <laughs> what it was about. Well, I made fun of it. I said, I guess I should have tapped more before I started my talk. So at least <laughs> I, you I, see I, you in the audience. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I have the whole audience tapping with me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. And secretly say your own like positive things that you need to hear around it in when you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout, one last comment and then we'll move on. Yeah, I was just gonna say the um when I run across these, um, kind of reflecting what Terry said, I know these people are some of my greatest teachers. And if you can take that viewpoint and not when you're in front of the room, but when you're preparing and then also on your own time afterward just try to sink in in whatever meditative process you have and just ask what am i being shown what in me is is being shown to me um and i and so that was one thought and then the other thought i um occasionally with rooms i just create a kind of a boundary around me because I know in my own energy I can go and then and then oftentimes I'm taking some of their stuff back with me so I've gotten in the habit and again in your own meditative way you can just ask internally how how can I create um, my space and their space so a boundary not like a protective um, but just a it's a boundary, like you're going to hold your own space 
and she's also she or he is allowed their own space as well. Was so that helpful? Was that it helpful? was, yeah. No, I just appreciate it, and I'm glad I'm not the only one that has this trigger thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, at some point, you'll get beyond that, probably. I'm guessing, but. Uh, yeah. The good news is you got some speaking gigs. Yay! Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anybody here we want to go into? I want to go around the room and say, okay, what do you got coming up? Anything? And if you could be kind of brief, make sure you put the links in the chat. We'll help you share. And or if there's something we can do to help you share, say on social media, or don't forget to give me a blurb if you want to put it in an email um, as well. Um, anybody want to start us off? Anybody have their stuff all organized? I will. Who said I that? Will. Okay. So I have an interview tomorrow that's going to be my Facebook Live. So okay. I will meet the goal that I committed to last week. <laughs> um, I know it's going to be on Facebook, but you know, whatever. I'm doing that tomorrow. And then um, I have a What's podcast that? interview coming up, and I have a speaking gig with um, Alicia, the chiropractor here in town, coming up on the 29th. And um, so I'm real excited about those things. So the Facebook Live tomorrow, is that what you said? Yeah. So what time? One o'clock. And where's your profile link? So you got to put your profile, is it going to be on your profile? Um, I, I copied the link from her Facebook profile to my personal profile. It's going to be on her post Facebook? Yeah, it's her. So that's as far as I got. So go get your... Facebook and put it here so we can go connect with you and follow you. Okay. While you're sitting there. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, one o'clock tomorrow. Awesome. Um, let's see. Who's unmuted? Gary, you want to go next? Okay. This regards the National Speakers Association. On September the 8th, we have okay. a program and it's about how to attract how to attract and get sponsors for your programs. Yes. So it's uh, in Lafayette, California. Starts at 9 a.m. We'll be over with by 12.30. And to sign up, you just go to the uh, NSA website, and it's nsanc.org, and that'll take you to the sign-up page. All right, cool, because I did want to go to that. And I think yeah. I'm going, so if anybody else wants to drive with me from here... Um, I don't know if Jennifer Darling wants to go, and my other client, Rich, said he wanted to go. So we got to get we got to get a carpool going. I think I want to go. You have to double check the dates, but okay. sponsorship definitely. Yeah, it's Linda um, Hollander. I know mm -hmm. her well. I took her course. She has some great ideas for sponsorship. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, from there. Thank you for mentioning that. Anything else? That's it for me. Okay. Thanks, Gary. And let's see, who else? Uh, Michelle? Oh, yeah, so I have a good grief retreat coming up in October. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's a Friday evening and then an all-day Saturday at Unity of Sacramento. And I did just manage to capture the link. Technology is driving me crazy today because I went into Eventbrite and couldn't find my event. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the tab that said manage events. I'm like, what the heck? So I just went back to the email that I sent you and grabbed the link. <laughs> there it is. That works. Okay. That is great that you're talking there. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And so her retreat uh, is going to be really good. If you know anybody that's going through a loss, uh, let's see. And then she just did speak at the SAC speaker thing. I put the NSA thing in there for you. All right. And then, um, <laughs> who else is Tanya? You got anything coming up? Um, nothing. I'm in the works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Terry, Ash, unmute yourself so you can tell us if you have anything. I don't, but I want to offer a free service to anyone who is willing to take me up on it, which is the service of helping people build a keynote. I'd be happy to help somebody structure a keynote. For like a paid talk or just any, any 
keynote. So, I mean, they, they, they could have a, pay, a paid keynote that they want to do, or they just want to develop something that they use to help build up their, their speaking business. I'd be happy to share some of the secrets I've gained at Cisco from working with key executives on how we build these, these talks. That's a great offer. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. We'll make sure you figure out how we can take advantage of that and stick it in the chat. Okay. okay. Thank sure. you. Sure. Um, Terry, you got anything besides your show? Hey, are you taking guests on your show? I am, but it's an invitation only. So if it's something that okay. you are interested in, we have an application, but it is invitation only. So yeah. it's not for everybody. Uh, yeah, well, you're going to go deep and they got to be yeah. able to stay with you. I don't think I could. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't speak well, my language. You're like here and I'm like, whoa, hi. How yeah. you invitation? Well, I just want to thank everybody and I want to wish you all an amazing, amazing week and amazing year. Uh, this has been a very intense year. So much stuff has been going on on so many different levels. We are all growing and expanding at huge rates. Even if you don't, you know, if you're wondering why all this craziness is going on, there's just a lot of big, big, big energetic stuff going on. And I'm not an astrologer. I'm not into all that stuff. However, friends of mine who are, are like, you know, they, they feed me information. And so if, if you're really feeling a little nutty, there's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> the energy is really, really big right now. So, I heard that. Yeah. yeah. It's huge. So I just want to say from my heart, thank you for allowing me into your homes, on your computers, on your cell phones, wherever you are, your phones. I really appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. All right, Marsha, do you have anything? Um, anybody else? Rhonda, you have How do we get the application for Terry's um, podcast? Well, you can probably go to her podcast website. So go to the one, your seven cents.com. Yeah, I, the application is not public. Uh -huh. okay, um, you need to send me a, a link. As I said, it's invitation only. So go, um, connect with, connect her with me on Facebook. Okay. Uh, yeah. Connect with me on Facebook and we can chat on Messenger if you like. Yeah. Uh, I'm and I'm going to be very blunt. I, I'm I'm just it, I'm knowing where we go, what we do. It's just not for everybody, so yeah. that's why it's an invitation only uh, show. So, yeah. but um, listen, we got to listen to it tomorrow, right? Yeah. Well, tomorrow it's just me. So tomorrow okay. it's me talking about why I created the show, the insanity putting the show together because it's been literally put together in five day in five weeks. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have more Beth Dunn as the very first guest. Oh, she's good, too. She's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you got to, like, oh, okay. Very cool. Um, well, I have a couple things in case um, you want to join me. I just put it in the in the chat Thursday night. I'm part of this group now that's it's 100-plus women, and it's basically 100 women donating $100 once a quarter to a nonprofit. So it's $10,000 that a nonprofit gets once a quarter. And actually, there's like 130-something women in the classroom group, and there's a Sacramento chapter. They're, they're actually all over the place, I think. So it's 100-plus women. Um, and I put the link for the Placer one here. It's Thursday night if anybody wants to come with me. It's totally free. You don't even have to donate. You can just come and check it out. I went for free the first time and, and liked it. And so I joined and donated and all that. So anywho, that's that. And then um, I still have about five chapters left in the Jumpstart Your Blank book. We have about 25 chapters. I'm so excited. We have so many people that wanted to do that book. And we got Michelle in the book. And Tanya's in the book. Um... And gosh, we have so many cool chapters taken now. What is that music? Oh, <laughs> somebody's music. Anywho, so I've got about five chapters left if you want to do Jumpstart Your Blank and get published this year. And then, oh, my two events for this year, the two events left over, I put um, a link to the one in August. That one's all about the techies. So if you don't know how to go change a page in your website or what to do to systematize things in the back end of your business so you can have a better, a better life and more freedom, then you want to come to that August event. It's only about 17 days. So there's only a couple weeks to make up your mind. But the November event is now open too. So that's the Jumpstart Your Business Weekend where it's everything from A to Z on how to start, run, and grow and market your business. 
Um, and I have a couple cool speakers lined up. Um, I can't tell you who they are yet because we haven't confirmed on the dotted line, but I always bring in new people, new ideas, and different things. So even if you've been to an event, which most of you have, a lot of you have, um, you still might want to come back. So that's what I got. Katrina, I have a, a speaking engagement I'm going to do. It's okay, virtual. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? On Monday, I'm going to be speaking virtually. I don't know if you're my friends on Facebook, but it'd be fun for you to share it. It's uh, create a high energy day to elevate your income flow. And so my background is an AADP certified health coach, and I've been uh, in the health industry for about 20 years now. Awesome. That's great. So connect, connect with people on Facebook. So because you all RSVP'd on the meetup, hopefully you all did, even if you were late, um, you can go reconnect over there, send private messages, get to the Facebook, and or it's not that hard to search people these days on Facebook. But I'll send out the recording. <clears throat> and um, don't forget to join the SAC Speaker Facebook group. I'm putting that link in the chat room too. Um, because you can announce things that you're doing in there and it's growing slowly but surely and it's not required that they're in the meetup so it might be new people that haven't seen you yet that are in there so I would and I'm also doing Facebook lives in there but also in my jumpstart group so I, if you want to attempt a Facebook live I'm doing them now on be live TV twice a week um, in various places so let me know if you have a topic of interest so Okay, guys, I don't want to keep you beyond our time here today. Um, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you for coming. If you want to unmute and say goodbye, you can unmute. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. So nice Bye. meeting everyone. Have a good night. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Bye, everybody.